Hi YouTube and welcome to another edition of Willis Garage. In this three-part series I'm thinking about making my own camera slider. I want the camera slider to be motorized and I want it to have two axes. So in this first part of the series I'm going to figure out the functions I need and want and I'm going to figure out all the electronics so I get it working. I have done a lot of research on the camera slider because I wanted to find the functions I needed for my use and I think I found something. And in my research I came across a camera slider that Physics Anonymous has made. This camera slider has all the functions I want. It has a two axis function. You can see that the camera stays on the target all the time and you can adjust the speeds and make time lapses of stuff. So as you see this is pretty cool uh, video. A shout out to Physics Anonymous. Check out their channel. I have a link for this video in my description. In this video they also have a link for the source code for the Arduino on GitHub. So if you go in on that link you can download the source code. Let's check out my sketch drawings. I am no good at sketch drawing, but uh, it helps me figure out functions and uh, how I want things to work. From my CNC build I have these non-supported rods. They are 600 millimeters, 60 centimeters. The first one I drew here was only one axis with one stepper motor and the belt going in between here. Then I was thinking a bit about the two axes. I have one stepper motor down here. And I have one stepper motor in this corner that's driving this big uh, pulley that's uh, turning the camera like this. Here you can see a cut sketch of the same thing. One step motor here that drives the sled with this belt. And one stepper motor here that which drives the camera panning left to right. Here I was changing it a little bit where I wanted the stepper motor that drives the sled on top. Down in the sled and the gear on the underside which drives the sled. And here I have the stepper motor for the camera underneath the sled going up and driving the camera panning here. And I have of course a ball joint on the camera. I thought about all this and I came up with yet another design on a new paper. <laughs> I decided to put the linear bearings on the inside of the sled so they get hidden behind the MDF plates on the side. But the overall design is the same as the last one. Electronic cover, stepper motor, the dry belt, camera mount, stepper motor for camera and the linear bearings underneath the sled. This is the design I'm going to go for. But the first most important thing is to get all the electronics working like I want them to work. So let's try to figure out the electronics. I went through the Arduino code and uh, made this list of all the inputs and outputs we need on the Arduino. Here you have the slider stepper motor, we have the step and the direction on the D2 and D3. The camera stepper motor, we have the step and the direction on D4 and D5. The limit switches is connected to D9 and to pin 14 but it's not used yet. We have the mode button, the three-way mode button is connected to the D6 and the D7. We have the program button which is just a push button, it's connected to the D8. And we have the potentiometers, we have the speed potentiometer is connected to the analog 1 input. And we have the camera potentiometer which is connected to the analog 2 input on the Arduino now. I will include this overview in my website, so please check that out if you want. Now that I have figured out all the inputs and outputs on the Arduino Nano, I'm going to try to make a wiring diagram for you.
and now I'm going to wire it all up. Bam! Here I have it hooked up like the wiring diagram. This is just a function test, so it's not uh, the best. <laughs> the first thing I had to do was to download the Arduino code for the camera slider. I went to github.com physics anonymous camera slider. Link is on my website via the link in the description of this video. Here you can download the Arduino code as a zip file. I just click clone or download and download zip file. When you download the zip file you get this file which you can extract. In the camera slider folder you get the whole Arduino code. As you see on the physics anonymous camera slider github page you also need to install the following libraries. You need the bounce too and you need the Excel stepper library. If I go to this link you see it can't find the library. In the links you see is the Thomas Fredericks Bounce 2 library. So I only search for the Bounce 2 and then I get up the Thomas Fredericks Bounce 2 here. So here you can download the zip file. You also have to go to the Excel Stepper library. It took me some time to figure out where to download this, but you have to go down in the text all the way here and you see the zip file here. So you can download it. When you downloaded all this, the bounce and the axle stepper, you can extract them like I've done here. And to install them into the Arduino software, you need to copy these two folders and take them to your system drive into your program files in the Arduino software and into the libraries and paste them in here. When you do that, they will show up in the Arduino software. The next thing you have to do is to go into the camera slider master folder. Here you have the Arduino file. If you try to open this now, you will get an error message. It says the file slider.eno needs to be inside a sketch folder named slider. Create this folder, move the file and continue. You can press OK there, but you can also press cancel and rename your camera slider master folder to slider. Now you can open the Arduino code file. As you see here, it includes the libraries multi-stepper and axel stepper and bounce too. And here you have all, all the codes lined up after each other. Now all you have to do is to plug in the Arduino Nano. You have to check that you have uh, the board checked at Arduino Nano or maybe you use a regular Arduino Uno. It's up to you. Then you can upload the code to the Arduino. Now it's done uploading and the program should be okay now. Let me just show you the overview here. This stepper motor is the camera slider motor. This stepper motor is the camera pan motor. I have a potentiometer down here, which is the camera pan potentiometer. I have this potentiometer, which is the slider speed potentiometer. I have this three-way button, which is the, the program mode, video mode and the time-lapse mode button. I have this push button, which is the program button. And I have these two wires, which is my homing limit switch. So when I push these together, it's the same as when the limit switch is pushed in. Here I have the Arduino Nano and I have one A4988 stepper driver and I have one A4988 stepper driver here. The wiring diagram is available on my website, link in the description. As with all the resources I use, all the materials I use, everything should be on my website. Now we have uploaded the code and let's see if it works. The mode button in the right up position is in the program mode. When I now push the programming button, the push button, the camera slider should begin the homing sequence. I push the button, the camera slider starts the homing sequence all the way till it pushes the limit switch in and it goes back till the limit switch goes back out again. Now it is homed and it's in the start position. 
Now let's let's imagine the camera slider is here and the camera is pointing this way. I want the camera to point this way in the starting position, so I will adjust the camera here with this potentiometer. Now the camera is pointing that way, that's my starting position and then I push the programming button again. When I do that, the camera slider will go all the way to the other side. Yes, yeah, you saw here, the speed is too high, so the NEMA motor uh, disengages or stalls. I will change this in the code right after I've done this. So now the camera slider is all the way to the right, and I want the camera to point that way. Now I can push the program button one more time, and this is my end position. When I do that, the camera slider will move back to its home position. This is stalling. Now the camera is in the home position and all the positions are programmed. I want it to go in a video mode this time. So I push this tree mode button to the left. I want it to move at the highest speed possible. I adjust that on this speed potentiometer. Now everything is set and I hit record on the camera. The camera is pointing this way. I push the button one more time and the sequence will execute. Now you see the camera slider is moving and the camera pan is also moving at the same time. So the camera will go like this and stop. So this is exciting. It, it works. <laughs> That's good. Let's put it back in programming mode. I will hit the button and it will start the homing sequence. Limit switch in, limit switch out. Okay. Now let's go back to the computer. As you saw, it went. Uh, the speed was way too high, so I have to go in the configuration and adjust the speeds. Here we have the slider acceleration and the slider speed. You see the speed is 8000. This is uh, too much for my steppers. I think I will put them down to 3000. And the acceleration I will put to 2000. And this is the slider and down here we have the camera acceleration and the camera speed. The camera speed is already at 3000 and the acceleration is at 4000. If you go back up to the slider uh, you have the max position. This is uh, how far the stepper moves. Because we don't have any end switch you have to program how far it should move. And you have to change these, these settings according to the length of your slider. I think this is moving way too far, so I'm going to put it at 400 times 10. This is the homing speed, how fast it should start the homing sequence. Under the camera pan setting, you can uh, adjust the position, the max position here also. That's how far the camera should travel on one turn of the potentiometer. I think it turns too fast, so I want to set that at 147. Uh, like you see here, max, max possible positions, I want, I'll put it on this one, for, for now. The jitter is also to adjust, when you see I move the potentiometer, it's, it jitters a little bit. So I'm going to try to set that at 5. Now I've done all these changes, press the upload button again, and we download the code to the Arduino Nano. We have it in programming mode. We press the program button, it will start the homing sequence. Limit switch. I push the programming button. You heard it was, was okay, it didn't stall. I want the camera to point another way. I push the programming button and it will go back. The motor sounds good. And now I put it in video mode and maximum speed and execute. And as you see it works and I can't wait to hook up this to my camera slider and test it out properly. That was it for this part of this three part series on the DIY camera slider. I figure out what functions I need and want and I figure out how the electronics are going to work. In the next part of this series I'm going to make the design in Fusion 360 
and I'm going to begin carving the pieces I need out of MDF on my CNC machine. So be sure to stay tuned and check that out. And down in the description I'm going to leave a link for my website. Uh, there I have a page for this project where you can find all the links to the materials, inspiration, the Arduino code and everything I came across in my research. I also have a Facebook page and Instagram. Go down and check them out if you want. As always, like, dislike, subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.